Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV, A Day in the Life. Um, I don't normally do news stories on this uh, program. However, a news story popped up yesterday that I think is very important for everyone to see. This has to do with Easy Pass. If you have an Easy Pass, you might get an email like this. Don't pay attention to it. Here's CBS News. Online scammers this morning are targeting more than 28 million drivers who use EasyPass, the electronic tags that automatically pay your car's tolls. Phony emails claim to be from EasyPass demanding money to settle an unpaid bill. One reads, you have not paid for driving on a toll road. This invoice is sent repeatedly. Please service your debt in the shortest possible time. The invoice can be downloaded here. Todd Marks is a senior project editor at Consumer Reports and says he nearly became a victim. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, how does this work? Well, it's the old phishing scam, uh, and the, 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 perpetrate, the perpetrators of all this are getting increasingly sophisticated with the use of real logos, actual fonts, mimicking the actual website to make you think you're dealing with a legitimate entity. But real businesses almost never send you invoices, attachments that you are required to open. They, that's not the way they work. But we all fall for it, as I almost did. Yeah, so yeah. if you almost fell for it, Todd, how can anybody really tell what's the real deal and what's not? Well, you have to be especially careful. You have to put on your thinking cap and you have to be analytical. The first thing you do is look at the URL, the address. One of the, great, one of the things that these scammers do is they incorporate elements of a legitimate toolbar uh, URL, yeah, easypassnewyork.com, Dot com, but they'll add weird symbols and numbers, add or hashtag 12579, that's a giveaway. Second thing, you can hover your cursor over the web address uh, uh, to make sure that it is legitimate because it'll pop up what it actually is. Think about how a company normally contacts you. EasyPass doesn't send bills, warnings, or threats via, via email. What they do is they send bills through the U.S. Postal Service. So what you do if, you, if you're being threatened or being pressured like that, you go in, you type in the actual URL, easypassnewyork.com, then you contact their customer support and say, is this legitimate? Secondly, you also make sure that you just don't respond or ever open anything. And again, if a company like EasyPass does contact you, and this goes for any big company, what they'll do is they'll never, what they won't do is they will never ask you, here's your attachment, here's this, pay it, Go on. What they'll do is they say, we want you to log on to your secure account using your username and password. Those are the real way, that's a way to determine it. But given how sophisticated, I mean, these scams, yeah. they started out, they were pretty basic, yeah. people claiming to be Nigerian princesses. Oh, yeah, that's still around, you. too. But they seem to be getting more sophisticated. I mean, is there a point where you just say you should not deal with any of these types of emails without making a phone call first to I, legitimize them? I, I think that's always your safest bet because, again, you can't go, go wrong by practicing due diligence. And again, like you said, these, the Nigerians, that's still around, it's still going. Because remember, it's not like the days where you had to get an envelope, make a letter, lick a stamp, and put it on for 49 cents and mail it out. These scammers, you know zip codes, they know areas you live. If you're in New York, their chances are you may, you have so an easy pass. why don't they go into junk mail? Why, because not all spam filters are good enough. And that's the problem. You need to update your operating system, whether you're Mac, or whether your Windows, you, when you get these security alerts to update, very important to do so. You can also add free antivirus software like uh, Avira Antivirus 2015. It's free. We tested it at Consumer Reports. Works great for most things. You can also add a, a toolbar like uh, McAfee makes this this site advisor, which will show the actual icon of the legitimate site. So you're getting added protections. I think it was All right. Todd over to <laughs> yeah. your house and yeah. my house. Lots yeah. of ways. Well, have fun. Make it a party. <laughs> yeah. Fun. We should I can tell you're a party yourself. guy. I can oh, tell. yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I can tell. Todd, yeah. Marks. <laughs> Todd Marks, thank you so much.